Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over installing the GFB DV Plus on our Mark 7 GTI 2.0T. The tools required for this installation are going to be a 7 millimeter socket, a 5 millimeter ball allen, and we're using a long ball allen. You may be able to get by with just a standard allen, but you will need it to be long to get access uh, to the lower portion of where the diverter valve mounts. And then also a magnetic bolt tray. This will help you keep organized with all the screws so you don't lose them. Here we have our DV Plus and then the stock DV. Here we have our OEM diverter valve that came on our Mark 7 GTI. Now to perform the installation of the GFB DV Plus, all we do is take apart the old one. We can pull the original piston out and the spring and then this cover here pops off. Now ours comes out a little bit easier because it has been apart before but they aren't really too difficult to get out. Now we can reinstall all the parts you need for the DV Plus. So to do that we're going to start by installing our spring, installing this and then we pop this in place. Something to keep in mind, there's a small hole right here that meets with this small hole here. If you don't have it lined up, this is not gonna sit correctly. So we can push that in place. And you put the large spring in, and now the piston. Now that's all ready to go in the vehicle. This does not hold together by itself, so you're gonna to have to be careful when you're installing this that you hold it all together because otherwise it will, it will come apart on you. And now our DV Plus is all ready to be installed. We can start by removing the engine cover just by pulling up and getting it out of the way. We need to start by removing this intake pipe. We can remove this clamp first. It uses a seven millimeter socket or a flathead. We like to use a seven millimeter on a ratchet because it is the easiest way to get in there and just turn it off. Otherwise, you'll probably need a stubby flathead screwdriver. There we go. Okay, we can start by using our spring clamp pliers to take this clamp off and remove that and Take this off here. Start by removing the electrical connector. All we're gonna do is pull back slightly and then pull up and release the connector. And we have our five millimeter Allen that we can then go ahead and loosen these bolts in. Now we have our DV Plus all set up. We started by putting this bottom bolt in place. You will need to do that when you're installing this, otherwise you'll have a tough time trying to hold the bolt in place and get everything set up. You also need to be sure that this valve here, you hold it in place so it doesn't fall out while you're installing it. So now we can go ahead and turn it down there. And as you can see, we got it in place now. All right, now we're ready to plug our connector back in for our DV, and we can do so by just pushing down, and we can reinstall this pipe. You are gonna to wanna to rotate the connector of this clamp in the orientation that it was before, just so it's easy to tighten. So we can push that in place, push this in place, and then we can tighten that down and put this clamp in place. Now 
Now we're ready to reinstall our engine cover. And now we've installed our GFB DV Plus on our Mark 7 GTI. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.